Investigators look into the cause of a deadly helicopter crash in Midtown Manhattan. Calls are growing louder to ban most helicopter flights above the densely populated city. CBS 4's Laura Podesta has the latest from the crash site in New York. Inspectors can be seen on the roof of a Manhattan skyscraper the morning after a helicopter crash there, killing the pilot and sending smoke pouring into the sky. The crash forced the evacuation of the 54-story building and briefly sparked fears of a terror attack. As soon as I saw everybody just come down and the floors tremble, I was like, okay, we better get out of here. The helicopter took off from a heliport on the East River and is thought to have been heading to its base in New Jersey. Instead, it crashed 11 minutes into its journey. At the time, it was raining heavily and visibility was poor. The helicopter was traveling within restricted airspace around Trump Tower, where no aircraft is allowed below 3,000 feet. The crash prompted renewed calls from New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney for the FAA to ban non-essential helicopter flights above Manhattan. There is absolutely no safe place to land. If you have a problem, it's not safe to crash in the water. It's not safe to land in the streets or on the rooftops. The building's main entrance has been blocked off and New York police are patrolling while this investigation continues. Those who need to get to their offices are able to through a side entrance but only with authorized identification. Former Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson works in the building next door. He says it's important to get back to normal. We're resilient, we're strong, we're courageous. We should not be afraid. The pilot, Tim McCormick, had 15 years of flying experience. Sources say McCormick radioed that he was in trouble before the crash. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. McCormick also served as a volunteer fire chief in New York's Hudson Valley for 10 years.